what's up guys my name is Khan and we're back today in scrap mechanic and we're back with a creation that's actually a really small creation but took a fair amount of time to do just because everything has to be balanced super perfectly and that is of course this little wingsuit right here so I've seen a ton of jetpacks rocket packs and all sorts of stuff on the workshop and I thought you know I've never actually tried to build a little wingsuit using the wings mod now that we have that you might wonder well where does this build actually come from i was actually playing a really simple game on steam called super flight which is just a basic wingsuiting game and i was talking with cosmo about it and i said you know it would be really really cool to have a wingsuit in scrap mechanic but of course you can't actually do a wingsuit properly in scrap mechanic because momentum doesn't really carry that much if you drop an object like a glider for example it just kind of drops out of the sky it doesn't really move forward with any sort of momentum so he suggested you know what con instead of doing a wingsuit why don't you just do one of those rocket wings and that's exactly what i did here so this uses the mod pack and the wings mod of course we've got those little adjustable thrusters which are really really cool they're actually wasd controlled thrusters but we've got them set for a and d and then of course they provide the thrust as well then we've got the wings mod and as part of the wings mod we've just got some really simple sort of controls here so we've got pitch on the wing and we've got roll by adjusting the thrusters so if you spawn the wingsuit on a lift it'll actually spawn vertically and you kind of just have to make sure it stays vertically if you put it on a hill and it falls over you can't really take off if it's falling over but we can just make sure it stands up like that it usually stays balanced and then we of course jump in our seat and if we press the one switch it'll activate and then really simply we just uh, hold s to kind of angle up there you can see those two back fins sort of adjusting and they adjust on w and s so you know you can pitch down and we can uh, we can do a front loop there no problem we can do a back loop and then of course if you want to roll with a and d it actually doesn't adjust it using the wings i did it with the wings initially but it was really really glitchy so instead we actually roll the thrusters and you can see it actually works really really well rolling the thrusters it's a really cool idea the WASD controlled thrusters, of course, they let you adjust, you know, pretty much which directions you want them to roll in. So you can do A and D like this one, which controls these two thrusters. You could also do W and S, or you could do all four and have it control a vector in any direction. So it's really, really cool that you can do that. And that's, of course, part of the mod pack. But it really allowed me to make this sort of wingsuit. Now, I know a lot of people have made rocket packs and stuff like that. I'm not sure how many of them do it with or without glitches. This one doesn't use any stabilization glitches or anything like that there's no glitch welded pieces together everything is an individual piece and I really wanted to do that with this sort of wingsuit idea I didn't want to have to have you know stabilizers and stuff I wanted it to actually fly with the wings mod and you'll notice that's kind of why it sometimes gets a little bit janky we've got those two wings on the top to try and provide it with some straightforward speed but you know if you do really sudden turns sometimes it kind of vibrates you know with the wings mod and if it gets going too quick it uh, it'll freak out but really really cool and i really like just the size of this wingsuit so uh it's just a lot of fun to fly oh yo okay hello you see there the wings sometimes freak out don't exactly know and we're going into the wall let's see if we can go under this little loop thing oh boy oh oh no 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 oh missed missed i'm not very good oh that was close you know what we can do it we'll go back through and loop through that it does fly relatively stable like i said it doesn't use any glitches or infinite stabilizers or anything like that so it does you know have a tendency to sometimes do some weird stuff depending on how the wings work but i'm really really happy with it i've never tried to build something quite this small you can see the wings just not having a good time there and uh oh boy can we can we sometimes the roll doesn't like it either sometimes it the, the wings overpower the roll you just kind of have to roll and pitch at the same time but like I said, I did roll on the wings initially just by, you know, rotating different wing pieces. And it was just so aggressive. It uh, it really never let you go straight. Oh, here we go. Look at this. Look at the... It was, it was close. So, of course, it is a really simple build, but it did take a fair amount of time to balance. And the one cool thing about it, you'll notice there's a few different logic blocks there. There's actually four of them. And then there's that stepper motor as well as the A and D thrusters. So, the A and D thrusters are pretty simple to control. You hook your seat directly into the thrusters. You have your thrusters sort of welded in a certain direction to make sure that the A and D goes in the directions you want it to. So, those two thrusters are welded in opposite directions. So, when you go you know, A and D, it rotates in different directions. You can set the thruster to be WASD mode, WS mode, or just AD mode. And so we've got it just set to completely AD only. So W and S won't do anything to the thrusters. It'll only affect the pitch. And then for the stepper motor, it's actually a little bit difficult. So the stepper motor takes a few different things as inputs. It takes a white block, which is that white block at the top. And that tells you how fast you want your stepper motor to move in terms of speed. And then you need to feed it a number input. And that number input determines the position 
you want your stepper motor to go to. So the speed is set. We don't adjust the speed at all, but we want our position to change based on W and S from our seat. So luckily for us, W and S on the seat outputs either a one or a negative one. And so what we do is we actually just send that to a multiplication block and then we multiply it by some static value, which I believe is like 30 degrees. When our seat is not being pressed at all, when we don't have W or S pressed in the seat, nothing happens. But if you press S, it goes to negative one, which in turn gives negative one times 30 degrees, which is negative 30, which gets fed to the stepper motor to put those two little fin pieces at an angle of negative 30. And then same sense when we press W, it goes positive one and it repeats the same pattern. You can see the wings just, just love freaking out, but really, really simple stuff. Now, what makes this super powerful is the fact that you can have two different bearings. So we've got one bearing on each wing, but the cool thing about it is the stepper motor always makes sure that the bearing goes back to the right position. So if we were to do this with electric engines, for example, you'd run into the issue where sometimes one bearing would rotate a little bit more than the other. It wouldn't go back to a zero position properly, and it would really be a pain in the butt to deal with. But if you use this stepper motor, you can have it basically auto return to zero with WS, very, very friendly to use and it's just really really cool stuff so if you guys want to see how to do that let me know in the comments down below and i could do a little bit of a tutorial on just how to do some basic stepper motor setups for planes because i find for cars and stuff you know you don't really need it but for planes it is super useful if you want to have w and s controls controlling a plane not just a wingsuit like this you can see this thing is just it is super fun to fly i'm not gonna lie i mean obviously it does have a few you know you can see the, the wings sometimes do some weird stuff and sometimes we roll a little bit weird i will of course upload this to the workshop i think it's a, a really fun vehicle to fly i know a lot of people have probably made really really good ones that are really stable and you know have no issues and are probably super fast and stuff but this was my first attempt at making something really really small that has a lot of function and uh just kind of looks almost like a real you know wingsuit like proportionally to the character i think it's pretty good i mean it is a pretty simple control scheme like i said it just took a little bit of thinking in order to minimize how many controls we actually had and obviously there's no yaw on this but not really a big deal now i think the only thing left to do really with this wingsuit is uh spawn in the homing missiles and see if we can set up a homing missile turret fly past the turret and dodge homing missiles with this wingsuit now the missiles are going to be obviously a million times faster than this suit but i feel like we have you know some maneuverability maybe advantages i don't know we're also small so hopefully that'll help so we'll line up here we'll just uh, put a missile launcher right down in this field now i'll show you guys really quickly what happens if we just turn off the thrust so let's just uh go around here try and get a straight path just so we can really get a nice clean glide but you'll see that it doesn't really glide that well it's sort of just it's just not really meant for gliding so here we go let's just go up from a really high height here Let's uh, rotate around just a little bit. Go down this way. Rotate this way. Let's just go this way. Yeah, perfect. And we'll just rotate straight. And we'll turn off the thrust. And you can see we glide a little bit. We glide a little bit. And then we just start losing so much speed so quickly. I mean, it, it's still kind of gliding. Kind of. I mean, we're almost dropping at a 45 degree angle though. So you can see you don't really get... Uh, much of a gliding sensation and this is why the whole wingsuiting thing i mean obviously you can use this as a wingsuit if you want you don't get any roll control when we're gliding because you know the engines aren't on but uh you can see it doesn't really glide all that well which is why you know the rocket suit definitely a better thing to have if someone has made a wingsuit let me know in the comments down below i'd be really curious to see a glider that actually can glide for a fair amount of distance i've tried even making full-size gliders with planes and you know it just doesn't never seems to work all right so we've got our homing missile turret here uh, I think it's good to go. Yeah, it should be set to a 30 second timer, I believe. So let's just uh, hit that and run. And uh, we should be good to go. We'll just, you do gotta hold S when you take off because it does pitch forward a little bit until you get up to speed. Uh, the biggest problem with making this wingsuit was actually the fact that, oh crud, there's a missile after us already. Are you serious? <laughs> go away go away go away go away go away go away oh they're so much faster oh hello oh hello you can't get me can't get me can't get me can't oh my goodness oh i can't get me what oh it's like oh no it got me all right i think we're far enough away here that we can hopefully do a flyby so i'm pretty sure it's launched two uh, let's see if we can, you know, get it to launch a few more here. You know, sometimes the roll control doesn't work great. I think the wings... Oh, boy. That was a treat. I think the wings sometimes interfere a little bit with the thruster roll because the wings are running a script. And I'm not sure 
exactly how to avoid that. I mean, if you use the wings to roll, obviously it works really, really well, but it's too aggressive. So we'd have to do a bunch of other conversions. But anyways, okay, so we've launched another rocket there. We can see it. It's coming by. Let's just uh, pick up some speed. Missed. Oh, it didn't even hit the ground. That's not... Oh, boy, that is fast. Oh, boy, they are accurate. Oh, hello. Okay, that's two. Oh, okay. Nope, can't hit me. Can't hit me. Nope, that one missed. Oh, boy. Oh, that one hit. Oh, that one, like, clipped us, but it, it didn't hit hard enough. It just... Yeah, that one. That one. That one definitely hit hard enough. Now we're within the danger zone. Quick, let's get out of here. Ah, uh, that was... Alright, perfect, perfect, perfect. We've made it. I think this is the last one. Oh, no, there's two. Okay, okay, okay. Can you, can you... Oh, oh boy, that's, that's... Alright, well, I think that's the end of the rocket. So you can see... The wingsuit, uh, clearly superior than the plane for defusing the homing missile situation. I will, of course, upload this creation to the workshop and include the links in the description. Let me know what you guys think of it, and, uh, of course, if you have made your own, let me know about those as well. I had did look a little bit on the workshop. I saw that there were a ton of them that use all sorts of different mods and methods for keeping them stable, but... Like I said, I really just want to try and do something for myself that, uh, you know, use the actual wings just to sort of try and make a flyer that's as realistic as possible, even though... Uh, it's not really realistic at all. But of course, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. While you're at it, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll see y'all next time.